Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Heartbroken and Lost. Advice. A long time ago, I posted here how my father cheated on my mom and when my mom confronted him, he blamed it on my existence. I was hardly eight at that time. I grew up believing I messed up my parents' marriage. I, 21F, didn't date for the longest time because I did not trust men. Last year, my mom convinced me that not all men are the same and I made a dating profile. I met my boyfriend there. We are turning one next month. I recently discovered that he has been active on dating apps. I made a dating profile, matched with him, and he asked me out on a coffee date. I confronted him and he denied everything. According to him, his cousins have been using that account to set him up with someone. I believed him and got back together with him. Today, I had a gut feeling and I checked his profile again. He updated his profile. I confronted him 10 days ago, I feel so heartbroken. It took me so long to let go of what my father did and trust another man. I feel like someone broke me into a million pieces. It was so hard to open up to someone, especially a man. Why do cheaters lie and still stay with their partners? Wouldn't it be easier for them to just leave and find someone else? I have been nothing but nice to this man. Went out of my way and avoided so many red flags because I thought I was being overly cautious because of my dad. I've been looking in the mirror and trying to see why my father and boyfriend decided to abandon my love like this. I've given them so much. Any advice on how to recover after being cheated on? I say for you to spend some time on yourself and improve your self-confidence. Once your self-worth rises, you will choose a partner who reflects and values the same characteristics. Thank you. You deserve better. I do not know why guys would do this, but it is toxic to stay in this. This will eat you day and night. You should not expose yourself to that kind of stress. I swear to you there are better men out there who want nothing more than to be in a relationship where mutual respect prevails. Thank you so much. They didn't abandon you. Cheaters don't abandon. They want it all. Why leave when they can have it all? It isn't you, it's them. You just need to spot narcissists. No man in right mind would blame a child for his actions. It was just easier for him to blame you. Narcissists are hard to spot, but I'm sure I'll be getting better at it from now on. Move on. You will find everyone doing the same shit. You need to recover. Invest in yourself. Do not make the mistake of falling in some other relationship. Take time to heal. Focus on academics, career, earn and invest. For a relationship to work everyone needs to work on the relationship. We have forgotten that. Truth, modesty, and being honest is all past. Money speaks all the languages. Don't fall prey to these d. Learn, earn and grow. I'm starting to realize how common cheating is and it's heartbreaking. Thank you for the kind words. Them cheating has nothing to do with you and everything to do with their lack of character. This is not your burden to carry and no amount of love and being the perfect partner can change how they will act. Sad reality. Thank you so much. I am very sorry that you have to experience this so very early. Please forgive me, if I keep it short. What I personally think is your only solution, is accept that up to 50% of the population cheat and that you need a very prolonged time of vetting a partner. Much longer than is usual for people your age. Also you should not believe such weird lies like with the cousins. I am so sorry, but you should hold hope back and maybe, I'd maybe not hope for a dreamland where it is impossible that your partner would cheat on you. I once definitely believed in this only kind of love that works from a point of loyalty. People have sadly shown me otherwise. It is possible to have a partner where no one ever cheats, but guarantees cannot be given. Hugs, orange heart, yellow heart, if appreciated. Yeah, the cousins set up a fake profile for him was lame. 
If the op wants to continue dating, she would improve her chances greatly by putting profiles only on sites that are highly regarded for having people that are looking for long-term relationships instead of short-term stuff. I met my wife on POF, and we both posted seeking later. More specifically she found me. Not for hooking up, and we hit it off swimmingly. We have our troubles like couples do, but overall we cut out a lot of nonsense by doing so. We met for a coffee, walked around the lake holding hands, and I got a smooch at the end of the night. I couldn't have asked for a more wholesome first date. It seems that making sure relationship interests match right off the top is critical. I see women posting profile information that they love to have fun and want an open-minded man. That can mean a number of things about them, some good, some not so good. If in doubt paying attention during the first meetup is important, emo. Well, that's true, as is being present and aware during the first meet. We didn't really feel like we were hooking up and it was just a regular date for a couple 30-somethings. Sometimes I feel those profiles may be filled with things they want people to read and think that's the one. But, well. Honesty worked better for quality. I had a pretty standoffish profile requesting no contact unless this, and that, and the other. I was sure to describe myself but then set three typos and asked them to reply with them. She found my typos, checked my boxes and we decided to make hay. I think the two of us being fairly clear with ourselves what were deal breakers made it easier. We've grown since, I stopped drinking, we bought a house, she got diagnosed BP, we traded in our sedans for an SUV. Our kids are growing happy and healthy, good times, bad times, more in love every day, I have doubts that finding someone through trial and error is as easy as stating what you want and not being dishonest from step one. I should be getting paid for this plug. It is better to be 100% honest on profiles, emo. That should screen out people that a person absolutely doesn't want to deal with. Everyone is going to try to put their best image forward, but being dishonest just leads to problems later. Why do cheaters cheat and stay in relationships? The Unified Theory of Cake Checked other dating apps just to find the other cheaters in my family update a few days ago I posted this. My boyfriend and I are still together because my therapist and I have decided that we'll slowly detach and break up in April. After my exams because my GPA is extremely important to me and I can't let anything happen to it. Long story short, I had another gut feeling so I checked a few other popular dating apps. He's not there, however, I found my uncles there. It's such a heartbreaking situation, because one of my uncles is having his baby this week. Already has a beautiful loving wife and a three-year-old boy. I hate how dating apps have made relationships and marriage such a casual thing now. Loyalty is something that should always be established, no one should be asking for the other person's loyalty. I hope each one of us heals, and finds the best version of ourselves, growing heart. Are you going to tell your aunt about her husband's profile? Her pregnancy is high risk. I would like her to fully recover first, but yes. I'm letting her know. Take screenshots otherwise it'll just be your word against theirs. I have taken screenshots and sent them to my mom already. Damn. I wish I had a niece like you. Is it your mom's sister or mom's brother? They are my mom's cousins. Honestly, if she's pregnant now, she needs to know. STIs can be transmitted to the baby via the mother. She needs to protect herself. Your uncle is putting the health of his wife and his unborn baby at risk. Good heart. Yeah, in these times you don't have to go out and carouse and converse and play the game to cheat. You don't even have to leave home. Set it up all online, honey I'm going to the gym, wham bam and back home kind of a sorry state of affairs. You've explained it so perfectly. You don't even have to leave your home. Just helps me understand that I need to focus on myself and prioritize myself only. Before dating apps it was something else. Cheaters will always find a way. 
Buck my hope in men dies a little more every day. Please tell your aunt. Even though she will probably stay with him, she deserves to know. Like men don't get cheated on. You are sure their accounts are active and not leftovers? It's depressing isn't it, but I wouldn't blame the dating apps. This stuff has been going on from time and memorial. Sorry oh, hang in there. Yes, they all recently changed their career pathways. Everything is updated and their response time is 100%. Gross. I hope everything goes well with your exams and that after you've finished them, you find the strength to let go of your dishonest and cheating BF. You deserve so much better, Op. Your family sucks. I would go very low contact with these awful people and attempt to surround yourself with healthier and happier people. Your family is stuck in a cycle of abuse that isn't normal and will likely pass from generation to generation except for those who decide to break the cycle. I personally think that all dating apps changed is the way in which cheaters found others to cheat with. Don't think they even changed the frequency, or ease, of cheating itself. I personally have never used dating apps, but if I'm being honest, I can't even really knock them for making things casual either. At least both parties are typically sober and know each other's names. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 